In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, as we gather this morning, we pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, In your vision, O king, you saw a statue, very large and exceedingly bright, terrifying in appearance as it stood before you. The head of the statue was pure gold. Its chest and arms were silver, its belly and thighs bronze, the legs iron, its feet partly iron and partly tile. While you looked at the statue, a stone which was hewn from a mountain without a hand being put to it struck its iron and tile feet, breaking them to pieces. The iron, tile, bronze, silver and gold all crumbled at once fine as the chaff on the threshing floor in summer, and the wind blew them away without leaving a trace. But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This was the dream, the interpretation we shall also give in the king's presence. You, O king, are the king of kings, to you, the God of heaven, has given dominion and strength, power and glory. Men, wild beasts and birds of the air, wherever they may dwell, he has handed over to you, making you ruler over all of them. You are the head of gold. Another kingdom shall take your place, inferior to yours, than a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over the whole earth. There shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron, and, and it shall break in pieces and subdue all of these others, just as iron breaks in pieces and crushes everything else. The feet and toes you saw, partly of potter's tile and partly of iron, mean that it shall be a divided kingdom, but yet have some of the hardness of iron. As you saw the iron mixed with clay tile, and the toes partly iron and partly tile, the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. The iron mixed with clay tile means that they shall seal their alliance by intermarriage, but they shall not stay united any more than iron mixes with clay. In the lifetime of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed or delivered up to another people. Rather, it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and put an end to them, 
and it shall stand forever. That is the meaning of the stone you saw hewn from the mountain without a hand being put to it, which broke in pieces the tile, irons, bronze, silver, and gold. The great God has revealed to the king what shall be in the future. This is exactly what you dreamed, and its meaning is sure. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give Give glory glory and and eternal eternal praise praise to to him. him. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give Give glory and and eternal praise to him. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him all forever. Give Give glory glory and eternal eternal praise to to him. him. You, heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give Give glory glory and and eternal eternal praise praise to him. him. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give Give glory glory and and eternal eternal praise to to him. him. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give Give glory glory and and eternal eternal praise praise to him. him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While some people were speaking out about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what signs will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines and plagues from place to place and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a, there's a lens that you can use to, to look at your spiritual life. It's, it's one of many, uh, but fits with our, our readings today. This particular lens says that if you're not on the path that God has traced for you, right, you're doing your own thing, that God in his mercy will try and shock you to become aware that you're not where you're supposed to be. Think of uh, the conversion experience of, of St. Paul something so stunning that you wake up, the eyes fall from your scales, and you realize, oh, how could I have been living this way? Um, I need to change my ways. The same goes for those who are on the path of discipleship, the path that the Lord has traced for us. The enemy uses the same tactic, uh, a shock and awe approach to, to jolt us into abandoning the path, something that makes us panic, doubt the goodness of God, rock our faith, undermine our hope. So in the gospel today, Jesus is preparing uh, the people for 
the shock and awe campaign that would threaten to divert them from the path, right? You're going to see things. Don't panic. Don't follow these people. Don't go after the nice, shiny little image that comes your way that says this is going to give you clarity or security. The invitation then in those moments is to simply maintain your spiritual discipline. Don't panic. Don't run away. But stay disciplined. The things that keep you anchored and steady uh, and focused on God, maintain those. So brothers and sisters, uh, may you and I uh, be mindful of those uh, sort of shock and awe moments that, that can come in our day and threaten to jolt us off, off the path. And may we recall that Jesus warned us about this, not to panic when those things happen, uh, but to simply stay the course. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all lay men and women, that by our growth and holiness this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation that uh, laws and policies will be inscribed that will protect human dignity from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have been afflicted with tragedies, victims of violence, experiences that have rocked their faith. We ask that the Lord will grace them with the ability to, to stay firm in their commitments to, to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, those under hospice care. We pray especially for those who battle mental illness, a disease, who are easily misunderstood. May the God uh, give uh, compassionate hearts uh, to those he places in their midst uh, to uh, extend uh, Christ's mercy and, and peace to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Emily Brady, May Emily's soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Mary Agnes Weiris. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, uh, we pray for insight in uh, moments uh, when we are jolted awake uh, that threaten uh, the path that we are, are tracing. Uh, we pray that uh, the words of Scripture today uh, might protect us and uh, keep us insulated from, from the lures of the evil one. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of the house and the church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, bread and, drink and drink this, this cup, cup, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day, day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reminder tomorrow, uh, Masses are still at 6.15 and 8.15. On Thursday, Thanksgiving Mass is at 9. That is also live-streamed. And on Friday, the Mass is also at 9. We'll go back to our regular rotation beginning Saturday morning. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.